Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have a quick question for you. What is your wealth, emotional wealth thermometer? What is that setting? What is your um, uh, emotional state in wealth building? Remember what Warren Buffett says, if you can't control your emotions, you can't control money. So um, it's rather important to know what that setting is, where you are on that scale. My name is Judy V and I am a, a I work with entrepreneurially minded people to become financially empowered so they can have the freedom that they deserve. And I'm really deeply passionate about being financially empowered because I really believe in if you're not financially empowered, you cannot be empowered in life. End of story. It's just a fact of life. Because you spend most of your time in every waking minute thinking about getting financially empowered. That's what occupies all your time, occupies all the space and time in your head and in your life. So it's only when you actually get to a level of financial empowerment and a, a, a level of financial security or resilience that you actually have freedom in life. Big difference between financial freedom and freedom that you get from having financial resilience. I think that's something that a lot of people confuse as well. A lot of people get that mixed up that um, they, because the terms financial freedom, security, independence is thrown around so much, people often get confused that they can't have freedom until they get financial freedom. And then people think of financial freedom, they think of people like Warren Buffett, don't they? They think of people with billions um, in their bank account or in their investments. But it's not like that. You actually get freedom, right? When you get financial resilience, when you get financial security, that's when freedom actually comes. That freedom and what it looks like is, what that freedom looks like is that you are free to live life um, empowered in all areas of life. You are able, you are free to focus on the areas that are most important to you, not necessarily focus on exchanging time for money every single day, making sure that you've got enough every every single month. See, that's the problem. When we're not financially resilient, when we're not financially empowered and we're not free, we focus on having enough, getting by, um, surviving. That's the sort of language that we use. And that's why I ask you, what is your emotional wealth thermometer? Because how you are emotionally is going to determine how you are financially. There's a direct correlation, okay? So if you feel uh, emotion around your um, earning, earning money, earning building wealth, what is your state? Do you fear? Do you feel there's lack? Do you feel there's scarcity? Do you feel it's hard? Do you feel it's a struggle? If that's what you're feeling, that's what you're going to be getting. And if you're feeling that you're going to be striving for just enough, and that is what you will get. That's a low emotional wealth thermometer. And it's important to understand where, where actually where it is important to understand that the freedom you seek is number one, easier and quicker to get to, and two, it's not it's not what you think it is, right? It's not about having vast sums of money in the bank. That is not what gives you freedom. What will give you freedom comes from within. It starts from within, ends with from within, all right? Start focusing on what it is you would love to, to be, do, and have in life. Focus on what gives you fulfillment. Focus on what gives you emotional fulfillment and emotional enrichment. Focus on that, and you will start getting being in a you'll start growing your emotional wealth thermometer to a point where you become more expansive, more inspired. And that's when you then start creating opportunities for yourself and start looking at ways in which you can um, create physical wealth um, effortlessly that will not lead to it just being enough not lead to it being a struggle. Because again, if it's a struggle, um, it is, that is that is a low wealth thermometer emotional state. If it's a struggle, you're struggling with, um, you're struggling with um, 
whatever it might be, struggling with inspiration, struggling with motivation, struggling with um, with the day-to-day chores of getting by. When you're struggling, when life is a struggle, that's a low wall thermometer state to be in, and that is what you're going to be getting more of. So if you would love to look and see how you can have freedom in your life, look at where you can spend most of your life or be in life more inspired um, and more um, have more clarity on what you, the vision is that you would love to create in your life, focus on that, right? And one of the ways in which you can, one of the important uh, tricks, I suppose, uh, the best word to say it, one of the important tricks to actually ensuring you can sustain that is have you know having an extended time horizon. Don't think about the now, right? Think about the time horizon. So get really clear um, and get r- incredible clarity on what it is you would love to create in your life and, and in what time. Like, for example, here we are, 1st of July, right? Boy, oh boy, it's been one hell of a year, okay? We've been in, a, I don't know, I think it's now 100 days in the UK. We've been sort of locked down. Um, it looks like, touch wood, it looks like it's coming to an end. Um, and we are halfway through the year. Okay, this is a great day. This is a great day. This is a great month to now see. Well, okay, if you've been struggling with a low emotional wealth thermometer for this year, and listen, I can't blame you. I mean, it's it's been a really challenging time, right? Um, it's brought up a lot of things for a lot of people. But if it's been a real struggle. Now is the time to look and see what you can create between now and the end of the year. Shift your state emotionally. Shift your emotional state. Okay. Put yourself into an expansive state. What is it that truly inspires you? Spend spend some time over the next couple of days in that place. What is it? Does it walk by the river, walk in the woods, or walk in the park? What is it? Is it like being with animals? What is it? Get into a really inspired state. And start and look at what it is you would love to create by the end of this year. Because six months, um, you can create incredible shifts. Things can change dramatically in six months. And the more you are inspired, the more you have something to focus on, the more clear it is. Right? The more clear it is. The problem is not lack of vision. The problem for most people, a lot of people, is lack of clarity of vision. So what is it you would love to create? I know that it, that you have created it on the 31st of December, 2020. Having learned and been through everything you've been through up until now, what is it you would love to create now? A focus on that. Get crystal clear on that. Get super clear. I mean, I mean high definition clarity on that. Okay. Then what you do is you start reverse engineering it Break it down, whatever it is you want to achieve. Make sure it's high in your values. It's something that is very meaningful for for you. Because the thing is, wealth doesn't come from the just pursuit of money. Wealth comes from a state, a state of being. That state of being comes from living congruently with your values, your purpose, having clarity of what it is you would love to be, do, and have in your life. So just for now, let's look at the six months. Let's look at the end of this year. What is it you would love to create? What would, can you imagine sitting on the 31st of December, 2020, looking back on the 1st of July and looking at the journey that you've taken over the next six months and what you have created? Crystal clear, high definition clarity. 3D clarity. As high in your values, it will make, it will transform your life. It will make so much difference to your life. Can you imagine being that person, having that? That increases your emotional wealth thermometer. When your emotional wealth thermometer grows, your wealth grows, right? It, 100%. Your job may not change. Your business may not change in that time. But your approach to it will change. Your perceptions on that business or on that job will totally change because you will see it as on the way, not in the way. And you will be able to see how it is serving you in pursuit of what's most important to you. Everything shifts. Your state changes. 
you grow that emotional wealth thermometer. You become a more expansive version of yourself. You are, you, you are like high on the levels of consciousness in that expansive, um, limitless state where you connect in with the universe. And when you connect in with the universe at that level, what you are doing is you are seeing opportunities that you could not see. Nothing's changed. Nothing may have changed except your state. And you've gone from that contracted, low, low emotional, low wealth thermometer state where what you do is attract more of that contract, constricted, contracted into you with struggle, conflict, enough. Don't ever talk about enough. Never. Now, I don't want enough in your sphere of awareness. Because you know what the problem with enough is? Your, your leeway is so small to complete lack. I hope you understand that, okay? Your leeway, if you're struggling, I mean, there's a lot of people around going around saying, you are enough, you are enough, like it's a super badge to wear. Enough with the enough now. No, you are not enough. You're bloody magnificent, right? So get out of that. Don't do the enough story. Don't fall for that. Because the problem with enough is, just one little iota drop from that, you are no longer enough, you're in lack, right? So when you're in that constricted, contracted state, you're gonna get more of that. That locks us down. And you know what also that does? The moment you're in that contracted state, you're out of balance. You're in judgment. You're emotional. And the moment you're in that out of balance state, out of uh, emotional state, you lose literally 90% or more of your potential. So that's the one thing. You then also gain, you gain a lot more of that contracted, constricted state, of that um, contracted, constricted state, because that's the level at which you're interacting with the universe, and that's what the universe is going to give you. Remember, the universe is love. It doesn't judge. And it will give you exactly what you ask for. So, it's, And it will always meet you halfway, right? Remember magnetic? We're all magnetic. The universe is magnetic. Everything is magnet. Two sides of the story. We live in a world of duality. Okay, so the world, the universe will meet us in the exact same way that we are putting out, right? So you get out of that by getting extreme clarity, 3D, high definition clarity on what it is you would love to achieve by the end of this year crystal clear. You get really clear on what needs to be done day by day. You focus on that every single day. High priority actions every day towards that goal, whatever that is. Okay. And you will find everything starts to change. Everything. Everything's like you're putting. It's not, it's not that all of a sudden you're going to wake up next day and you're going to be in a completely different house. It's not that next day you're going to walk out, you're going to have a completely different car. Next day you walk out and you're going to have a completely different job. That's not what's going to happen. It might apparently be the same, but your perceptions will be different. Your, how you perceive and the meaning you apply to everything in your life will totally transform. And the more that transforms, the more you transform, the more you step into your power, the more you step into your inspired state, the whole of who you are, living life focused to your agenda, not subjugating yourself to outside agendas, the more inspired, fulfilled, and, um, and expansive you will be. And then that, the more you're in that state, the more everything changes around you. That's when everything all of a sudden starts changing around you. Next thing, you wipe the sleep out of your eyes and like you look around and think, how did I get here? It was so easy. You, know, you look back six months and you think, you look, you think, you compare yourself to that and you can't relate to that person. Because all of a sudden, it was a simple change of state that culminated as like the law of compounding. It culminated, it compounded. And as Darren Hardy says, and I'm always quoting Darren Hardy in his book, The Compound Effect, I think it was the greatest book written in the past hundred years. It's a small book. It's very simple. But, uh, but boy, oh boy, it applies to everything in life. It's the small things done consistently over time that has the biggest impact. 
So my challenge to you is to get crystal clear on what it is you would love to achieve at the end of, by the end of this year, by the 31st of December. Okay, get crystal clear, get 3D, high definition clarity, and start putting in high priority actions, no matter what they are, even if it's just taking an hour out a day for self-care, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. That in itself is high priority action. It doesn't have to be some high level wheeling dealing, okay? It's high, high priority action. The more we take high priority actions, the more inspired we will be. Okay, the more en route we'll be, the more expansive we'll be. And it's like the small things down consistently over time has the biggest impact. Why? Because it compounds. That is what compounding is all about. Here's the challenge though, or rather I should say, here's the issue, because challenges are good. Here's the issue, is that it's the small things, because we see them as imperceptibly ineffective on their own, that we will drop like hotcakes when things get hard, or when we, we fall into old habits. Or we get it we're, when we're starting to feel a little bit out of our comfort zone and you've got that comfort zone which is all that contracted emotional state where we can blame everything and everybody for what we've got or haven't got all right it's easy to get back there because that's comfortable it's familiar it's the small things done consistently over time it's the small things that those small things that are done consistently are the easiest things to fall off the wagon because we think oh, i won't do it today i'll do it tomorrow but you know what tomorrow never comes it's now. Your life is, is your life is nothing but a series of moments. And each one of those moments are choices. And you, the extent to which your life will accelerate depends on the choices you make moment by moment. It's those simple things that we the small things that are the hardest things to, to sustain. That is why it is so vital to have 3D clarity on your vision. Because through those times when you're tempted to just not do those small things, to not just step a little bit more out of your comfort zone, to not stretch yourself just a little bit, because for initially going from that contracted state, that frustrated state, from the enough state into an expansive state, that transition can be itchy scratchy, can be uncomfortable, because it feels like hard work until it's not, until it's a way of life. And that's when you never look back. That's when everything changes and you never look back. And you wonder how you actually ever got by in that low wealth, emotional wealth thermometer state. From when you start doing that and you make that transition, that's when you start living a high wealth thermometer state emotionally and you never look back. So the clarity of your vision will sustain you to ensure that you will do those small things over time that compound, that create the lifelong change. Okay, so what is it that you would love to create by the 31st of December, 2020? Get really clear on that, okay? Let this year be the catalyst, okay? We've done with the suffering, we've done with the enough, we've done with the res uh, not having the resilience, okay? Let this, this year, be catalyst for putting your life onto a trajectory like nothing else has. It's in your power. You're the cause of your effect. You can do it. Okay, start with getting really clear on what it is you would love to create by the 31st of December. I promise you, miracles can happen in a very short time. You can create them. We are miracles. All right, guys, take care, and I will chat to you soon. And if you are not in the Wealth Breakthrough Program uh, Facebook group, um, come and join because we will dive deeper on this on Friday at 10 o'clock. Take care. Have a wicked day and an awesome July.